We are here to take a look into October. See what you guys have going on for this month. All right. If you are new here, hi. Welcome. Thank you for stopping in. Um, if you guys could please give this video a thumbs up, I would greatly appreciate it. It is a free way to help support my channel. So, without further ado, let's get into it, Leos. All right. Nine of Wands, Five of Cups, Queen of Cups, Six of Swords. Mm-mm-mm, <clears throat> Leos. First of all, I like the fact that we have the Ace of Cups here, okay? This could be a new relationship, a new baby's coming, proposal, a marriage. You also have the Ace of Wands, which is a new project coming in, or you're getting new inspiration for things, okay? You also have the Five of Swords. <coughs> Excuse me. So... This could be that you are getting out of an abusive relationship and you're going to be going into a new relationship. All right. So it could be ending a relationship here um, or, you, you know, because you're kind of like sick and tired of it, if you will. You know what I mean? Jelly beans. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or it could be, you know, violence. You're dealing with bullies, theft. Right. And so you guys are trying to overcome that. Um we also have the Five of Cups coming into play here. Now, the Five of Cups is like, you know, grief. You're feeling abandoned or unloved. So this is why I think it has to do with a relationship or maybe a friendship. You guys are kind of like over it. And I love the fact I'm like basically reading these cards backwards. But Leo's, that's what you guys make me do. So you guys are going through um, a tough time here in October. Now, you have, the, you have the Nine of Wands, though, that is reversed. And it's pretty much saying like people are all up in your business, right? But I feel with you guys, Leo, that ugh, you guys are just kind of like over like what's going on, you know, or what's been happening. I feel like people haven't been so nice to you guys. Whether that is a, you know, a relationship, a marriage, a friendship, family, work life. I feel like people just have not been nice. But you guys are going to be coming into, like, these new relationships or a relationship, okay? Or um, there is going to be a proposal, a marriage that could be coming if you guys are not in an abusive relationship. Maybe you guys are waiting on that. Um, again, these are just general readings, so however that applies to you. Um, but there is going to be a new relationship. If you're in a relationship that is good, there could be a baby coming. There could be a marriage proposal, things like that. If you're in an abusive relationship, you're going to be leaving that and moving on to a better one. Okay. I just keep seeing though that like you guys are just not being treated well. Like, like nobody, somebody's like not playing nice. <laughs> we have the lover's card coming up and then we have the 10 of pentacles figures. So with the 10 of, um, pentacles coming into play um you could be coming into some money and inheritance things like that all right um because you guys are maybe you guys are working on some new projects or <laughs> uh, or if you guys are going through a divorce guess what you're gonna be making some money off of that that's <laughs> that's how i feel because uh oh my gosh it's just funny to me Whoever has been not treating you so nicely, it's going to definitely, I believe, come out to be in your favor. And you guys are going to be laughing about it because I just think that it's hilarious that you guys are going to be coming out on top if you're going through a divorce. All right, what else do we have, Leos? Okay, we also have the Four of Cups. I love this card personally. So the Four of Cups <laughs> is... You know, you're going to have surprise, you know, gifts coming in. There's going to be some gifts. You feel unfulfilled, but I think that that could be because you're having issues in your relationship or whatever the case may be. But like I said, I find it funny because if you are going to go through a divorce, um, or even if you were in a court situation, like, 
I don't know, maybe you're suing somebody or child support or whatever it may be because child support could come in because of the baby factor. But at the end of the day, I think that you guys are going to have a good laugh about it, Leo's. What else do we have, Leo's? You just crack it. You Leo's crack me up. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, so you guys have new beginnings that are going to be coming in, just like I says. So, and then you also have the Queen of Pentacles, um, which this is, you know, like your resourceful person. So you guys really need somebody to come in. If that is a court, um, if you are going to court for a divorce, you really need to get that attorney that, uh, you know, they know what they're doing, right? Sometimes you got to pay a little bit more money for a better attorney, but it would totally be worth your while. You have the Tower of Destruction, AKA the Tower card. So... <clears throat> That is, it, it's unwanted change, right? Like it's inevitable. It's going to happen, Leos. You just have to prepare for it. So if you're holding on to something, you know, I don't really like talking about divorce and, you know, relationships, failing and things like that. But if, if you are in that situation, you're going through a divorce or child support or whatever, custody, this, that, whatever else, it's going to happen regardless. Like if you're not going through it, but you just like, it's not working out or whatever the case may be, um, it's going to happen. So you need to be prepared for that mentally. Now check it out. The ending, we have the world card, okay? Card number 21. This is completing the goal or the lesson, right? So you could be moving um, afterwards, right? You could be getting a new place and starting over. The bottom of the deck, you have the nine of swords, which is upside down. Generally, the nine of swords is anxiety, nightmares, things like that, but it's upside down. So you guys are going to have this weight lifted off of your shoulders, Leo. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know why I'm out of breath. Like I can't breathe with you guys. Like you're just being suffocated in this, whatever it is you guys are going on. Like, holy smokes. Like, I just feel like, like I'm just, you know, having a hard time breathing in and out. All right, Leo. So it is tough for you guys this month, but you need to put all, um, how do I want to put this? You need to make sure that you guys dot your I's and cross your T's, if that makes sense, right? All or nothing. You guys are going to come out fine on this. Really pay attention to what's going around in your, in your surroundings, okay? Because I feel like people are just being mean to you. Maybe it's, you know, your lover or, or whatever, your friends or whatever, like, but I feel like you guys are taking on a lot. Um, yeah, like I'm like suffocating here. Jesus. All right. So Leo's, there you go. There's your reading. It is tough. Can't breathe with you guys. So hopefully you guys will get through this. Sage your energy, sage yourself, but you will come out on top. Okay. So with that being said, Leo's, I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>